It's such a beautiful day outside, and so many people are missing out on this glorious sun by being stuck inside playing so many video games. And Seth from Wickenburg wants to know, by playing so many video games, are his brain cells being killed? Well, let's find out. I'd like to say that certain video games don't um, kill brain cells. Because if the video games makes you think and you have to, and you have to um, like a Rubik's Cube game, seriously, they made that for the Wii, it's a Rubik's Cube world game, yeah, it was stupid, but that doesn't kill brain cells. When you're playing Call of Duty, you gotta learn war skills, so it helps. You just keep on playing oh, X and Y. Yeah, it does it. You have to hit X and Y for the Rubik's Cube. That's for your nerves. The quick and simple answer to this question is no, but that doesn't mean there isn't any bad consequences or serious side effects to playing video games for long periods of time. One bad consequence is obesity, and you can avoid that by balancing video games and staying active. Another serious side effect is social isolation. Hi. Another bad consequence is a drop in school performance. I have so much homework. You know what? I'll do it after this level. Last but not least, violent tendencies. Ah! Uh, uh, they killed me again. Oh! Dang it! Oh! Seth, I just wanted to say thank you so much for asking such an awesome question that I often wonder about. And for everyone else, don't forget to go to flydoodlescience.com by clicking on this link right here, and subscribing by clicking on this link right here, and this link to buy my awesome science books for kids.